Welcome. Glad you found us. I'm Bonnie Sartori with Spiritual Acceleration, and I want to share a little bit about how entities can actually cause intrusive negative thoughts. Okay. So when we have discarnates coming into our body, I want to make it really clear. Remember, it's just like another human. Think about yourself. Think about if who you are right now and Think about your traumas, your worries, your stresses, your misperceptions, your feelings of not being loved, not enough, uh, all that unworthiness, whatever you are experiencing. Think about that, okay? Now, just imagine that you leave your body, you die, and now you don't go into light, but you come into somebody else's body. You're bringing all of your energy with you. You're bringing all your negativity with you. You're bringing all your hurts with you, your heartache, heartbreaks. Whatever you left the body with, that's what you're going to be bringing in to somebody else's body. Now, this is what's actually happening to you. Think about this. A discarnate comes in with all their wounding. They come in with all their, their beliefs. Okay, they come in with all their angst, all right? So a lot of people have a lot of negativity. A lot of people have, you know, the poor me, you know, people are hurting me. I'm a victim. So it's like maybe you, maybe in your world you weren't a victim, okay? Maybe you were like a strong person and you got things done and you weren't feeling victimized. Maybe you had experiences in your life where you could have gone into the poor me, poor victim, but you didn't and you're just feeling pretty stable. But... You haven't claimed sovereignty. You haven't claimed the body. So this being comes in and somebody comes in and maybe many come in, not just one, but many, many, many. And each one that comes in has their own issues, has their own uh, trauma, drama, wounding, pain, suffering, anguish, things that they've anchored in and believed. Now think about this. People are judgmental. People find fault. People want to be better than others. So we elevate ourselves. Uh, we have big egos, you know, the false self, the big ego. And, you know, in that those places where we got the big ego, we always want to be right. We want to be seen as perfect and, and not, you know, no, nothing's wrong with us, you know. So what happens, though, is they, when they come in with all of their misperceptions and their wounding and their traumas, their negativity, you're going to start feeling the energy of negativity. You're going to feel the emotions of these discarnates. And in that, you, I swear, you, you will not know it's not you. Okay. You might be wondering, wow, why am I thinking like this? Why am I feeling this way? Did something happen? And then you'll let it go because you can't identify anything that's caused it. And you don't understand, but it's just happening. Okay. So, you're, you're not going to feel like in control. These entities will make you feel out of control. And they're going to start hitting the same in energies in your subconscious, but they're going to amplify your subconscious. But they're also going to bring in all of their wounding that you may or may not have. Okay. Now, again, entities are drawn to your wounding, matching energies. But it doesn't mean it's all the same. Wounding is wounding. Hurt is hurt. Heartbreak is heartbreak. Shattered is shattered. The reason or cause why doesn't really matter. Okay, as long as you've got some wounding inside and you've got misperceptions and you've got traumas and may sometimes PTSD, entities will attach to your energy. They'll attach to your wounding and bring in all of their energy. So the negativity, the negative thoughts. Okay, so let's just say you you let's just say you've never been uh, physically abused, beaten. Okay traumatized through childhood, through parents or a parent that literally beat you, okay? But you have other traumas, you know, maybe there's an abandonment or rejection or feeling like you're, you're not one and not loved, but the discard that comes in has been abused, okay? So now with that abuse, the negativity of that discarnate, the mistrust that they have of, of others, the fears and anxiety they have of others, Maybe you didn't have it before, but now all of a sudden you're feeling anxious. Now you're feeling you don't trust people. Now you're feeling unsafe in the world. Okay. What's happening is these discarnates have their emotions and you're now feeling them. 
inside of you because that's where they are. They're now inside of you. So it's going to feel like it's actually you. It's your emotion. Okay? It's your feelings. It's your thoughts. It's your reactions. So maybe in the past, you weren't reactive to somebody. Let's just say, you know, like a belief system, like uh, religion or something. Okay. So that you, you didn't have any beliefs. You were pretty open to any, you know, the cultures of ever all peoples. But let's just say someone comes in with their own belief system, strong beliefs about, you know, um, uh, Catholicism or, um, you know, Judaism or whatever. They come in with their strong beliefs. You're going to find yourself, oh, finding judgment, finding negativity towards things that are not in alignment with what that discarnate is feeling and believing and thinking, okay? So, I mean, as people, it affects every facet of your life. It affects how you see uh, the political world, how you see the wars, how do you see the victims. You know, someone could come in that has uh, great prejudice against uh, the Palestinians, okay? Let's just say that happens. Let's just say that you're just, you know, you're a neutral person and you're not making any judgment, you're just witnessing, but then here comes an entity that's come into your body and, you know, they hate the Palestinians, all right? So you're going to start to feel some kind of angst. You're going to start to feel judgment. You're going to start to feel negativity, okay? And you're going to, you know, you find yourself finding fault and judging, Okay. And then, too, when people have really extremely strong feelings and beliefs, look out, people. You have someone come in, they have very potent, strong, powerful beliefs. You start picking up on those beliefs, and you start feeling hatred. Hatred for people that you never felt hatred for before, okay? Um, you know, it's like you start judging, finding fault. It's like it's like you can't be in a state of neutrality anymore, all right? So I think it's really important you understand that you, maybe some of your negativity, maybe some of your negative thoughts, maybe some of your negative beliefs are actually not you. I've had experiences where I'll take out a discarnate. Sometimes I've had one discarnate removed, and it changed the person's entire life, okay? I'm going to give you a quick little story. I had a longtime friend's. And a man and, and it was a good friend, a man and a woman, they were working partners, okay? So the woman wanted to create a business together with the man, and the man was on board for it, and he had a girlfriend, and he couldn't, you know, he didn't open his heart to the girlfriend. He was going to move forward with my, my other friend, the woman, and create a business together. But he also knew he had a discarnate in him that kept taking over. So he literally came to see me in person. This is one of the longest removals I've ever experienced in my life, okay? I was talking to this discarnate for well over an hour before I was finally able to get that discarnate out. When I got him out, the man's life changed so drastically. He no longer wanted to do business with my friend. He now he asked the woman to marry him, and he moved to another area where they were you know, going to have their lives together. My girlfriend, she was so mad at me because I took the discarnate out. But the thing is, it wasn't him. It wasn't him that wanted the business. It wasn't him, okay? So, I mean, it was a crack up. I mean, she got, she knew, but still, she was still mad at me, you know, because I did that. Well, all I did was set him free to be himself, okay? So, people, you have no clue. You don't know how you are affected. I've had, ex oh, okay, I've had an experience, this is trippy, uh, this is way back, really, this is when I, just before I started really doing entity removal, which was in 1987, I started doing removals in 1987, but I used to always have this feeling, like a really weird feeling, like I was going to be, and when I got in a vehicle, I would be shot in the back, and it was so intense, I started thinking, well, maybe this is what's going to happen, maybe I, that's how I'm going to die, I'm going to get shot in the back, okay, so, Back then, when I was teaching uh, entity removal, and I had one of my students do some removal on me. Well, she took out this bean, and that feeling was gone. Just like that, gone. Never again did I have that feeling or thought. Okay, here's another piece. This is a trip. People think they're remembering a past life. No. They're remembering because they're remembering a life that was the discarnate's life. And once that discard is gone, oh, 
oh, that wasn't a past life, okay? There are ways to be able to determine if you're having a past life memory or if you're, it's actually an entity, okay? So that's a good thing to understand because there's a definite distinction between a true past life memory and it's a discarnate, you're remembering the discarnate's you know, past life, okay? So you can be affected uh, on all levels, on any level. I've even had people all of a sudden not like their husband, Okay. Oh, I hate my husband now. Oh, hang on. Clear, clear, clear. Oh, oh, that feeling's gone. How'd that happen? Okay. So it's it, it can be anything. This is my point. It's not just here and there, this or you know, here and this and that. It's like every facet of your life, every thought you have, every reaction you're experiencing may or may not be you. Okay. And Sometimes we can actually feel the beings inside of us, but most of the time we're not, we don't. Most of the time we're thinking, this is me. This is me. <laughs> How did I get here? How did this happen? Okay, so again, people, it's like every, here's another thing. I know you're not going to like this, but everyone has discarnate. Everyone, okay? You don't know it. You might know it, but mostly you don't. But everyone has discarnates, and they are affecting you. They're affecting negativity, and they affect that whole thing around victimization because you got people coming in that have been victimized. And if you've been victimized, and you're going to even be more intensely feeling like the poor me, the victim, why is this happening to me? Am I being punished? There's something wrong with me. Am I bad? Or why, why, why is this happening? I'm a good person, you know? So again, we're talking discarnates, dead people are in your body. Hundreds. <laughs> hundreds. I'm not joking. Hundreds. You can have hundreds of dead people in your body. Okay? So you want to be sure to watch the next video because I am going to be talking about how to claim sovereignty and how we start to keep these discarnates out. Unfortunately, it doesn't mean that they're going to go away once you start claiming sovereignty because they're already anchored in and you can start to learn how to keep them out of your body.